Hello, it is Catfish Unknown here, and today I'll be making a video that, um, I don't know if any of Willie, you guys would care about this video, but it's a video that's been on my mind for a while now, so, um, a little context, context, I have this video, I have this series called Plushy Adventures that I cancelled about in, I cancelled, I think, early 2018, and... Um, ever since, um, like a few weeks ago, or I think like a month ago, I wanted to make a video to properly close off the series. So this is not by any means the season one finale or the series finale. This is a video of me going through the different, all the episodes of the, of season one of Plutchy Adventures. And yeah, um, so yeah, let's... Uh, uh, actually, before we get into it, um, I'm going to say a little bit more stuff. So, um, this series was conceived when I went to SeaWorld and got this, uh, plush of the Yeti from Rudolph. And, um, yeah. So, if you guys ever wondered how this show came to be, I just wanted to make a story with... Um, a few plushies go um, going on an adventure and stuff. So yeah, um, with this out of the way, with you guys knowing the context, um, here we go. This is the closure of Plushie Adventures. So... Episode 1 is a simple episode. Episode 1, I think what I was trying to do, it was, I was really only trying to introduce three characters, being Dog, um, Teddy, and Yeti. Um, like, if you watch this, well, if you watch the rest of the series before you watch the pilot, you'll probably be lost, because the pilot is... There, there's many continuity errors during this. One I noted was in this, Yeti was made to be like this scared creature that didn't want to be in the interdimensional c closet thing that I made up uh, on the spot. Um, but he was like scared to be in it and crap. And like... It was it was said in even in the beginning that the closet was like something that was dangerous. It was terrifying. It had demons, monsters, and all that crap. But like the thing is, uh, Yeti was like Yeti was then made out to be like the villain of the series. Now in later episodes, you'll see that's that's you'll see that's not the case. But yeah, moving on. In this episode, we also got introduced to Dog, being this cool dog from California. And, like, <sighs> I don't like him. Um, I find the voice um, awful. I find it terrible, annoying, and I don't think it that should be his voice. I think I should have done a more, like, laid-back, like, cool, dude. Like, kind of like that kind of voice. But, like, I don't know what I was thinking. Um... He's not really used a lot in this show, though. So, you know, if you ever decide to watch these, um, you don't have to go through his voice. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Um, and then Teddy. Teddy was, um, was basically set up to be the main character. Even though there's characters that have come later in the show that, um... Are way better than him. Uh, he he was basically like the Iron Man. No, that's not a. Yeah, actually, yeah, basically like the Tony Stark of this whole thing. Like he was like the cool, the cool one. But then I just I don't know what I did with him. Later on in the show, Teddy is not really a good character at all, and like only in like a few instances he's a good character. Also. Um, sorry for the notifications that pop up, but yeah, um, so, yeah, uh, that's really all I have to say for episode one, um, since it's short, it's only four minutes long, and, like, there's not really much to it, but 
from this, I already knew I was going to make a series out of this. So, uh, yeah. Um, so, I'm going to go uh, record, uh, record the footage for the next part of the video, which is episode 2. Uh, which should come right after this, but not to me because, well, he editing's a thing. Um, so, yeah. So, um, after rewatching episode 2, I can already tell that this is the episode where most of the lore starts coming through. So, this episode was, um, this episode does, well, was supposed to focus on the return of a character from one of my previous shows called The Adventures of Teddy and Dr. Dog, which semi-inspired this show. And the whole thing was that that show, that that little plushy thing was actually canon and does take place in the universe of plushy adventures now are those videos still up i'm actually not sure I, I think they are but um yeah so dr dog is a weird character yeah he is exactly what he sounds he is dr dog and um yeah so but the thing that I i'm sorry about that the thing about this episode is that Dr. Dog's return isn't the focus. Yes, it's in the episode name, but it isn't the focus of the episode. Now, I'm actually thinking about, I might actually, um, I might actually, uh, change the title. Because the thing is, the video mostly deals with a gang of supervillains coming together. And this is where the whole Yeti thing comes in. So, Yeti is revealed to actually be this giant villain, and he has, like, some minions. He has food fight from Skylanders. He has, uh, freaking uh, shit. He got, like, okay, I don't remember what else. Uh, I wasn't really paying attention, but he had, like, food fight Skylanders and a few other guys. And it was also revealed that the Fallen, yes, the one from Transformers, Revenge of the Fallen, is the villain of the whole series. He's basically the Thanos. And it beca he becomes more like Thanos uh, the more we get to the end of Season 1. But, um, yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, um... Also, I want to correct my thing about what I said about episode 1. How Yeti being a whole cute, trying to be cute, cuddly character. And then turned into a vicious psychopath. That that's actually not true. Um, this is a, f this is a, a mistake on my part. But he was actually acting all nice. So he wouldn't be banished to like some other world or something. This is the whole interdimensional closet thing coming into play. But, um, so, um, yeah, so as you can see, um, we go into the closet, food fight goes in, Yeti is like, oh, food fight, you back, yo, what's up? Uh, it's not like that, actually, uh, if you actually want to hear what he says, uh, go, go to, and watch the actual episode, but, um, yeah, also, this is one of the longer episodes. I never realized that this episode is 12 minutes long. Um, that's actually pretty damn long for one of my old YouTube show videos. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, we had this whole interaction where there's this whole thing called Project Ruin Christmas. Because I had the idea of a Christmas special that never happened. And was replaced with a New Year's 2017 special. Yeah, big, very big downgrade from what I wanted to do. But the whole thing was Yeti was going to freaking be in Christmas. The little stick bot things. They were going to like come out presents and shit and start like battling and crap. But that was ultimately cut out. Okay, so there's a there's the guys. It was that one biker dude from Skylanders and the gnome from Gravity Falls. Um... So yeah, those are like the minions of the show, even though I think this is the only episode that they're in, except for the gnome. 
But I don't want to spoil what our next segment would be. But, um, so yeah, there's the fall. And, uh, uh, I did try to do a deep voice, even though looking about it, it makes me uh, a pretty dysphoric hearing it. But, um, I guess I'll excuse 2017 self. My 2017 self for trying to make a badass villain, but, um, so, yeah, um, so his character was, like, build up, and the base was their closet and shit. Like, I hate how, like, the thing is, Yeti doesn't want to be in there yet, that's, that's the base. Um, so, yeah, um, yeah, um, so, that's why... So, I tried to basically plant the seeds of what would later on become of the show in this, but the change, but the show changed so much after this that I couldn't even keep up with it. Um, and we'll see a lot of changes, especially when we get to the whole war arc of the series. Um, so there's now look at it. There's not way really a lot. I could talk about this episode because not a lot happens. It's mostly, I guess, filler, you could say. Because it's not, this episode's not really the good one of the show. Yes, I actually think there's a good episode in this show. Like, this whole show is cringy. Don't get me wrong. But there's this one episode that stands out. But we have to go to, but we have to go through a three parter before getting to that episode. Um, but yeah, uh, that's really it. Uh, she, um, so I'm probably going to trim this down a lot. Um, if you want to, if you want to watch these episodes, they're in the description. So yeah, that's really all I have to say about this episode. So, uh, let's move on to the next episode. So I have a lot of thoughts on this video and a lot of them are not positive. Um, so, this is the Gravity, this is the Plushy Adventures v. Gravity Falls arc. Um, so, part one is basically, um, we start out on the Gravity Falls side. We see Daper, Mib Mibble, Mabel, and, uh, Waddles basically hanging around being all go lucky. And then, um, yeah... One thing I'll say right now is that my voices for the Mystery Gang is freaking... Uh, no, that's Scooby-Doo. For the freaking Mystery Twins and Stan are absolutely terrible. Um, so, um, but this does basically raise... This basically does um, start the whole multiverse side of the show. Uh, which doesn't really get explored all too much after this episode. Um, well, after this uh, three-parter. But basically what happens is that Grunkle, that Waddles, that the closet in their world lights up. So Waddles is like, oink, 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 oink. I'm sorry about that. It's, but Waddles basically just waddles off and... To the closet, meets Yeti, and then just g gets out of there. Uh, and then he basically meets up <coughs> with Teddy in the Plushy Adventures universe, and um, he basically go and then like freaking Teddy flips the he flips the fuck out because uh, Gravity Falls is a thing and. The plushy adventure universe, and he's like, "Oh shit! Oh shit! Your waddles from Gravity Falls." Um, that's a, a dramatic recreation of that. Uh, but um, yeah. Um. Uh, so yeah, waddles goes up as, and he's like, well, "Uh," and like Doctor Dog is there, and Doctor Dog translates him and goes. Like, he wants his, like, Teddy wants Waddles' autograph and crap. And then, freaking Waddles is like, what the hell's an autograph, bro? He doesn't actually talk, though. It's Dr. Dog translating it. Somehow, I didn't know Dog spoke pig. Um, well, swine, if you want to be more scientific. Uh, 
But yeah, um, little fun fact, the part that's playing in the background is actually very ear rapey, and I actually did apologize for the ear rape. So, um, yeah. Um, that's probably the only time in my life I actually apologized for ear raping people. Um, so, yeah. Um, this episode's not great. Um, at all. I don't like this episode. It's just annoying, in my opinion, especially freaking Teddy fangirling all over freaking, um, waddles and crap. Uh, so yeah, um, also, if you guys are wondering, uh, I got the Gravity Falls figures from, um, Toys R Us. So if you guys ever want them, go down to Toys R Us. There's like two of them. Um, uh, God, I'm sorry I made that joke. Uh, Oh, yeah, also, a new uh, Yeti minion is briefly shown, which is the plane, a.k.a. that was one of my childhood toys. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so, this isn't really all... So, I, as I remember, I originally didn't want these, this episode to be canon, but now look at it. Yeah, this episode's canon. Sorry. Uh... uh so yeah, um, I don't really have anything else to say about this episode, except for, um, there's actually a cliffhanger in this. There was never really a cliffhanger in any of the episodes until this one. Um, I kind of want to talk until the cliffhanger, so, uh, uh, I think... Alright, so if I'm not mistaken, I think it was around this episode is when I was starting to plan out the Christmas special. Um, originally what I was going to do, I was going to make Plushy Adventures episode 1 and I was going to wait till Christmas. And then Doctor's Dog Return happened, I was going to wait till Christmas. And then Gravity Falls um, part 1, 2, and 3 was going to be before, after that was going to be Christmas. And then New Year's came and yeah... Um, I think it was also around this point, too, I was already starting, st um, thinking about season two, which is something that never happened. I actually kind of wish it happened, though. I actually had kind of some, actually not, uh, gonna lie, some actually kind of cool ideas. Um, but I'll give them, um, whenever I'm actually done with this. Uh, maybe in a separate video, but, yeah, um... So, yeah, um, shit, I don't want the episode to just play, so I might trim it a little bit, uh, so yeah, actually I might include the cliffhanger as the segue into part two, so I'll see you guys in the next segment. Okay, so, um, so, <laughs> this, um, episode is basically an episode that revolves around the mystery, the mystery, I'm just gonna call them mystery gang, I don't care. The mystery gang basically find Waddles in this alternate dimension as he's in part one's cliffhanger. But basically, they get into one big fight because Teddy, which is a bear, Basically had waddles and they don't like that very much. Um, and then uh, Dr. Dog eventually steps in. But that's more near the end of this episode. But yeah, the whole thing is they, tr they get into a huge ass argument. And goes like, well, I had waddles. You should expect me. But um, uh, yeah. Um. And I'm not even exaggerating. Um, this is probably one of the loudest episodes that are in the show. And uh, very unnecessary sound effects. Also, this episode, uh, Do um, Dr. Dog got pretty, pretty close to um, Teddy in one part. I'll, I'll explain their whole uh, friendship um, air quote friendship in a um, in a later segment, 
but and then, but uh, like a, uh, as we're talking about Doctor Dog, um, Doctor Dog steps in near the end, and they have a therapy session where he's like, when you're um, next to him, what type of pain do you feel? And then Goro says like, Oh, I feel a lot. Of- I hate that. He's like, I feel a lot of pain being around him, and then like. And then he sings a song, but then the video just cuts out. Because that's where part three starts. Um, and then this video also breaks the fourth wall a lot. Where, um, basically, um, when um, Teddy first met up with Mabel, he was like, Oh my god, you're Mabel. And I quote, Yeah, you're Mabel. Fu-. Well, it's not really the exact thing. I think this is what Mabel says. That she literally says, oh yeah, I'm from Disney. I'm a Disney, a- I'm from a Disney animated cartoon. I'm from a Di- uh, God damn it, my words. I'm from a Disney animated show that was on Disney, moved to Disney XD, and then ended in February, and... With Weird Mageddon Part 3. I wish I was making that up. Um, if you want to see, go watch the video yourself. I don't care. Maybe even leave a comment if this video wasn't struck by Kappa. Which I think it was. Most of the shows have been struck by Kappa. Um, which is not surprising. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's really it for this episode. There's no way... Well, there is a huge cliffhanger. Dr. Doll is about to drop some fire bars, and then the episode ends. So, yeah, um, that's it for this episode. Uh, but this is a, one of the other longer episodes of the show. Um, but, hey, at least after this, we actually get into the good me of the show. Y- kind of. Um, after the next part, we get into um, the New Year's 2017 arc, which... Um, I don't really like that much, but maybe you guys will. I don't know. So, yeah. uh, Yeah. I'm going to stop the recording here. See you guys next segment. So, this is the final part of the whole Plushy Adventures vs. Gravity Falls thing. And um, this has a musical number. Now, uh, I don't really want to play the musical number. Um... Well, I'm probably going to. Um, so, probably after this segment, before the in-between segment thing, I might put it there. But uh, this episode ended off this arc with them basically getting all, um, getting along with each other and stuff. Now, this is the shortest out of the arc, and I'm happy that it's finally ending. Because we're about to get into like the real deep shit after this. So... I'm just happy that I don't have to do this arc because I hate this arc. But the musical number, you know what? It would just be wasted if I didn't put it in this video. So I'm going to. Um, so yeah, next arc we ha- we have to do is uh, part one and two of Are You Yeti for 2017? Yeah, creative name, I know. Um, obvious sarcasm. But um, basically... Uh, so, uh, yeah, um, I'm just happy we're finally getting done with this arc because I, like I said, I don't like this one. I like the other ones better than this. But, um, get away for long segments. Um, uh, this view is probably actually going to be very long. Um, now thinking about it now, but, um, so yeah. Uh, as you're seeing, I think in the background, it's playing... Yeah, it's playing the, um... The music thing. Even though I don't have the volume on. I, I can't hear it, but, um... Yeah. So... Yeah, there's not only a lot I want to say. All I really wanted to say was what I already said, so... Yeah, um, see you guys next segment. I hope you enjoy the song. Okay. I am heartbroken because you think the person who helped me is bad. 
but he's not. If it wasn't for him, I would be dead. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm sorry I'm cutting it a little bit short. But um, I'm probably going to try to get part two out as soon as I can. So um, bye my peeps and have a good day.